hello everyone so in this video i am going to show you how we can reset the root password for red hat linux 9 or cent os uh, version 9 so basically the process is same for red hat 9 as well as uh, uh, red hat linux 9 so suppose this is my um, machine uh, red hat 9 machine so actually it is cent os but since this is the process is same so first let's start the machine and go to the console of the machine so it since it is a uh, prompting a uh, two image so this is for the uh, to boot from the kernel of the CentOS and the second one is uh, that, that rescue image that we will be using to reset the root password so um, just select the uh, this uh, rescue image and press e so a small e and that will uh, uh, help us to go another prompt and so on here the this this linux rescue image file let's go to the end of the file so so if you see here i will be in here uh, rsgb quite and after that rd dot break to this will uh, stop the normal mount of the file system so just um, uh, put this text here rd.break and if you can see in the option there is control x to start so I, I will press control x Now it will show us uh, how uh, to mount the file system. Okay, so I will be mounting here in read right now. So mount dash o remount from rw in for read write mode and then sysroot. Uh, next command ch root and let's go to the sys root now uh, i will be entering the command to change the password password and I, I will now put the new password so uh, so i have changed the new password now uh, create one file that is um, auto reliable that is uh, auto relabel that is hidden file and so actually this file will uh, do uh, what this will do is on next uh, boot SE Linux subsystem uh, will detect the file and relabel all the files on the system with correct SE Linux context so um, create this hidden file exit and then uh, finally reboot the system So this time I will be booting with normal image. So hit enter. So it may take some time for the first time uh, if you have changed the password of the boot. So it may take a minute or a couple of minutes to boot successfully.
okay so finally it is uh, booted let let's try to log in with the new uh, password and uh, finally uh, we are successfully able to log in the system so yeah so yeah so finally we are inside the uh, server and we can now uh, uh, do anything uh, with the root user so thanks for watching the video